Yeah, hello guys, this is Tida Red of Red Crown Arts. First, I want to say a big apology for not being able to post videos for quite a while now. I'm going to try as possible to be more consistent. So, first I've gotten a lot of requests on how, I was, on how I've been able to manipulate my background color from different ranges of, of pictures from leopard skin to floral designs and so on and so on. So I'm going to show you guys how I was able to do this through Photoshop. So now, let's start. So first I said to myself that I would rather want to make the background color as coherent as possible with the clothes she's wearing. First of all, this is the outcome of what we were looking at this is the outcome this is the before and this is the after you see i was able to get a i was able to i was able to get a leopard imprint on the background because this is more current with what she's wearing this picture is unedited so <laughs> so i'm just going to show you guys how to customize your backdrop and then i'm going to edit and then post it up so you guys can share your comments so first let's let's, let's start from scratch So first and foremost, after after taking out your, your distractions, click on your layer, go to select. Let's choose the color range and then this, this pops up. When you see this, first you select all the white parts of the picture. You select all the white parts of the picture and then you see that majority of the background color has been selected and just a few parts of our body is uh is not is affected by this but then we can still move on go to your uh, quick selection tool i personally i always like to make sure that it is as flat as possible so first you make sure that the shadow is not being selected at all now you go to your adjustment layer which is right here and then you choose your hue and saturation when you choose your hue and saturation, it brings up a hue and saturation panel, and then, and then it is already maxed. I got this particular image from Google. I got this image from Google. I just searched leopard skin background, leopard print background. I just kind of saw it, and then I downloaded it. So first, you move it down to your to your image. You hold, you see, when you hold um, shift and then you click, it rotates by all proportions. And then you cannot enlarge totally. So now, after doing this, you hold your Alt key, you click on the max part of the hue and saturation layer, you hold your Alt key and you click on the max part and then you drag it forward to your Leopard Print layer. So it basically duplicates what you have done here is and now you change your blending mode to soft light. After changing your blending mode to soft light, you might want to decrease your opacity. So let's say like a 20 or a 30. Most times I go with like 20, 24. 20. So now next line is that we go to your filter layer. You go to your filter layer and then you go to your blur. Under your blur, you go to your Gaussian blur and then most times i just select 30 percent and then it blows out the uh the leopard print it blows it out to make it blend very well you go to your image adjustments and your levels most times i like to have a darker feel so i drag in my shadows i drag my shadows more sometimes i might want to play with my mid tones but then it varies on the type of picture i go down to my hue and saturation layer again i double click on the logo it brings out this panel and then i eat colorize purple i wouldn't want purple <laughs> so in, what you do is that you drag it down till you find a very very suitable color that suits with the outfit so i would go for i would go for something like this this is your before and this is your after this is your before and this is your after 
so for more for more questions please if you have questions if you want some more videos you can put it up on the comment section and then let me know let me know uh i'm going to be posting some more videos as time goes on so don't forget to always merge i merge everything up with shift ctrl e shift ctrl e to merge everything as one probably name this as background and then i can now start my retouching so guys thank you for watching this tutorial once again this is Cesar Red. thank you and god bless you